today, Phil with Filmora, and today we're talking about the YouTube watermark or the branding watermark that you can use to promote your brand and also encourage subscribers. There's two ways that I think people should use their watermark. When you're just starting out and you're just trying to get subscribers, you can actually put a little subscribe image on your watermark so that on all of your videos, there's a little subscribe button in the bottom right corner. When someone clicks that button, it takes them to your channel. That will encourage subscribers, especially when you're starting out. When you're more caring about your brand and promoting your brand, you wanna put your logo down there so that people are aware of your brand. Because a lot of people are watching your videos coming straight from Google or YouTube search results, they're not coming from your channel, so they might not even know who is creating the video when they click to watch it. So having a branded icon in that watermark is a good idea and a good way just to make people aware of who you are. It also just makes your videos look more professional if there's a nice clean logo down there. So I would say, as you are trying to grow your YouTube channel, to have a little subscribe watermark down there until you have a thousand subscribers. You can also combine the two ideas, having a logo plus some subscribe text. This will promote your brand, but also encourage people to subscribe. Let's dive into the back end of YouTube so it's clear how and what you can do to add the watermark to your channel. Just head over to your creator studio under channel. There's an option for branding. This is where you can add your watermark and choose how it's displayed. For me, I have my display time over the entire video, but you can have it pop up during the middle of a video. So if I want it to have a custom start time and it'll pop up after a few seconds, I can do that. Or I can just have it pop up at the end of the video. So for me, I'm going to leave it at entire video. You can see that I already have my watermark here, but if it wasn't here, if I remove this, you'll get this option where it's add a watermark. It will give you some ideas for best results. You don't want a full image. You want something with a little bit of transparency in the background. Colored images work, but also just a white image works too. So to upload, just say choose file. I'm going to select my logo file with the transparent background choose save. It's going to show me a preview of what it's going to look like. If you're happy, just click save. Then it's going to ask you for the display time. So I'm just going to change it to entire video, say update. Now if I watch any of my videos, so let me just go to video manager, go to my latest video, you'll see that my watermark pops up right here. And if you click on it, it goes to the channel. So you can imagine if it said subscribe or if it had your logo and then a little subscribe button, you can actually, it's more enticing for people to click on it and go directly to your channel. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to be continuing this theme of designing our channel by looking at our icon and our channel art. Thanks for watching.